What's going on guys, Austin Zay back here with another YouTube video and in this video, I'm currently driving my Prius right now. I'm gonna be talking about is the ATM business a good business to get started in 2021? Now the reason I'm driving my Prius is because I'm going to fill an ATM machine right now. So not only are you gonna get to hear my thoughts, my feelings, my opinions on whether or not the ATM business is a good source of passive income in 2021, but also you're gonna get to see me actually fill one of my own personal ATM machines and kind of break everything down step by step as to you know why the ATM business was potentially you know good you know three four five years ago and why maybe in 2021 you know it isn't gonna be as good okay but I'm gonna break it all down for you so I would really appreciate it if you took just a quick moment okay and just smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so I'm sitting here in my Prius right now like I said and I got my camera propped up I look like a complete clown okay but here I have ten thousand dollars okay so ten thousand dollars these are obviously um, in $20 increments okay so as you can see we just went to the bank we got ten thousand dollars in twenty dollar increments and again we're gonna be filling our ATM machine now I'm gonna break everything down for you um, right here in the video so make sure you stay to the very end and if you're brand new to my channel I would really appreciate it if you would also just consider subscribing okay because we're typically talking about real estate the stock market how to make money how to invest money how to save your money and obviously how to make passive income with the ATM business okay so let's just jump right into the video what we do first is we obviously open the vault of the ATM then we go ahead and we uh, put our bills in so you know we want to count our bills know exactly how many bills we're putting in the cassette then we go ahead and put the cassette back in obviously check that reject bin make sure there's no bills that um, you know didn't qualify uh, as a bill go ahead and lock everything back up obviously take a tick tock <laughs> And then we go ahead and uh, we got to tell the top part of the ATM how much money or how much bills we put in the bottom part, right? The computer system needs to know. So we've got to log in. Um, I just put about $4,000 in this one, which is about 200 bills, uh, 220. So uh, $4,000. This is actually in a nail, uh, nail salon in downtown Phoenix. So uh, this is a pretty good ATM. You know, I would say on average this ATM, uh, we'll find out right now. But I think this one, you know, again, it's a pandemic and things have been a little weird lately. But I want to say we probably made, you know, three grand in uh, you know, the last 10 months or something like that in uh, total profit. Okay, so, you know, paid for the ATM. Ultimately, it, uh, you know, it's extremely profitable. I mean, our ATM machine only costs us about $2,500. Uh, we load it with our own cash for this particular ATM, but again, that's just recycled money. So there you have it, guys. So there we did. We just filled an ATM machine. Okay, I put $4,000 in that ATM machine, as you could see. So the ATM business ultimately is a business that is super, super simple to do. It's super simple to get into. Now I want to chat with you a little bit on our drive, you know, about how to actually land a location, right? And then how to find a loader or to determine if you want to load it yourself. And then ultimately, you know, what does the ATM business look like, you know, moving forward in 2021? You know, is it a good business? Is it a bad business? You know, is it still a viable business model to make passive income, right? And that's what you want to know. You know, if you're watching the video, um, you know, first and foremost, obviously, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. But, uh, you know, that's, that's kind of what you want to know, right? How to make passive income in 2021. We're going to dive into it here in just a minute. Please pay four dollars. Really? Normally it's free. If you're only here for just a second. Well, I just ate up all of our profit, ladies and gentlemen. Got to pay four dollars at the freaking parking garage to fill my gosh dang ATM so that I can make a three dollar surcharge. So now the next person that goes to use this ATM, I'm just making my money back. I ain't even making any money. So that's kind of a pain in the butt. Oh, they want to give me a freaking receipt. They want to do the whole dang thing. Please take ticket. We're trying to roll. It normally doesn't. They normally don't charge you when you do that. That's kind of weird. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, if you get into the ATM business, just make sure that uh, that you don't got to pay for parking every time you fill your ATM because otherwise you're gonna eat up all your profit, man. You're gonna eat up all your profit. So. Okay, so look, in the ATM business, you know, there's a couple of key components you have to remember, okay? Uh, number one, look, I do think that in 2021, the ATM business is going to be a very viable business model. And ultimately, I do not think that the ATM business is going anywhere anytime soon. Now, I do think there's a lot of small business closure in America right now. As you know, you know, we're going through a pandemic. You know, a lot of states are, are totally shut down, right? The small businesses are shut down. 
And you know, getting a good location is definitely going to be a little bit more difficult, but I do think that you can go out and you can land a good ATM location. So look, at the end of the day, you know, I do think that if you can land a good location, you can make a good amount of profit, right? You can make a good amount of income, okay? You know, if you're somebody that maybe is working a nine to five or you have, you know, you just want a, a side hustle, right? You just want to make, you know, some, some extra income on the side, then I think, you know, those people, you know, the ATM business is best for the people that just want to make a little bit of money on the side, right? I don't think the ATM business is something I mean I do I think you could definitely make like a lot of money in the ATM business but I think the ATM business is better for those people that just want to make an extra you know thousand bucks a month two thousand bucks a month three thousand bucks a month whatever and you know you can go out and you can land you know three locations four locations five locations ultimately maybe you know an investment of you know ten thousand or twenty thousand dollars just to buy the ATM machines, the actual hardware, which by the way, um, is a tax write-off, okay? You can depreciate the ATM machine similar uh, to how you can depreciate um, you know, a house or a car or whatever, right? And then you can ultimately make that passive income. Now, what I would encourage you to do is get a loader, and a loader is just somebody that's gonna load your machine for you, so you're not having to load it with your own cash. Now, another thing you could do is you could put the ATM machine on a credit card, uh, maybe a credit card, you know, like the Chase Sapphire, right? Or the Chase uh, Sapphire Preserve, the Chase Sapphire, um, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Chase Sapphire Reserve. You know, there's a lot of, uh, Chase has a bunch of good credit cards. You know, there's a bunch of, uh, Citibank, I think, has some good credit cards. You could get a credit card with a 0% APR for 12 months or 24 months. And then what you could do is you could buy the machine with the credit card, right? $2,500, give or take and then pay no interest for 12 to 24 months, make your minimum payment, you're just paying the principal of that, um, you know, that amount obviously, and then get a loader to load your machine for you so you don't need any additional cash to actually load the machine, and then take the profit that you make every month if you get a good location like an all cash barbershop, an all cash nail salon like we were just in, or whatever the case is, you know, take your three to $500 a month and pay off the credit card, right? So now, you know, within 12 to 24 months, you're, you know, 100% profitable, no money out of pocket. You can literally get in the ATM business for free, right? The main thing that you're gonna struggle with in 2021, I think, is getting a good location, right? And I think, you know, getting a loader is not gonna be a problem. There's people in every state across the United States of America that will load your ATM for you. It's just gonna be a matter of, you know, and getting an ATM is easy, right? That's no problem. Installing an ATM is very simple. There's people that install ATMs all across the country, right? Uh, drop in the comment section. I could recommend you to some good people, but I think getting that location is gonna be the most difficult thing, right? So if you're watching the video, you know, you wanna make passive income in 2021, then, you know, you gotta first and foremost, find a good location, right? And what I would do to, in order to do that is I would just get, pick up the phone, go on Yelp, right? And look for all of the good, you know, all cash places in your area, right? Laundry mats can be good, barbershops again, salons, you know, bars. You know, there's a lot of good places that you can land at ATM, right? And just give them a call and just say, hey, you know, I'm in the ATM business and I was wondering, you know, if you needed a free ATM, right? Because you're offering that to them for free, right? They're not gonna have to pay for it or anything like that. And then if they say yes, then kind of interview them a little bit and ask them, you know, well, you know, how many people do you have coming to your store on a daily basis? You know, how many of those people would you say uh, pay in cash, right? And start kind of asking them, you know, pre-qualifying questions so that you can know whether or not the ATM will be a good uh, location, right? Whether you know that, that location will be a good location. Now, worst case scenario, if that location does not end up being a good location, you can always go ahead and move your ATM. Remember, you own the ATM, right? So, you know, worst case scenario, just move the ATM, right, into a new location and ultimately, you know, call it a day. And that's no problem at all, right? Because in your ATM placement contract, which by the way, you can find on Google, um, you can, uh, you know, grab, we have an ATM course if you wanna grab it, you know, we give you the ATM placement contracts, but in that contract, you know, you're, you kind of reserve the right to move your ATM whenever you basically feel like it, right? So the owner of the location can't just kick you out. It doesn't work both ways, right? You can move it whenever you want, but the ATM owner, uh, in theory, you know, they're locked into a two year, three year, four year, five year contract, right? They will automatically renew, you know, at that duration of time, you know, so it'll renew for like one term or two terms or however many terms. And I don't wanna get too much into that because I don't want you to let the paperwork scare you. And I think a lot of people in the ATM business, you know, I've, we've been doing this for about a year and a half. 
I've seen a lot of people not get into the business because, you know, they're like literally confused. Like they're like, well, where do I get the contract? Or, you know, who's gonna do my processing? Or how do I install the ATM? Or, you know, where do I buy the ATM? Or how do I find a cash loader? Look, those are things that are honestly not that complicated. There's a bunch of Facebook groups that you can join, you know, ATM Facebook groups. You can ask people in your area. You can call ATM owners in your area. You can comment on the video, obviously. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, okay? But, uh, but you know, there's a lot of ways you can get the contracts, get the loaders, get the ATM installers, get the, the uh, people that'll do the processing for you. And honestly, we do a lot of that too. So, you know, if we can help you in any way, shape, or form, you know, we definitely will. But, uh, but yeah, guys, you know, in 2021, look, kind of wrap up the video. I do think that there's money to be made in the ATM business. I do not think that cash is going anywhere anytime soon. Um, you can look at the statistics, you know, there's multiple countries that have tried kind of like doing the cash ban, right? Getting rid of cash altogether um, over the last, you know, decade, right? Or even a couple of decades. And it's always backfired, right? It never actually ends up working, right? So I do think that cash is gonna be here to stay for a while. I don't think, you know, people are gonna switch 100% to Bitcoin and Litecoin and Venmo and Cash App and PayPal and all of that, um, Apple Pay anytime soon. I think a lot of people are definitely gonna use those. And I think people are gonna use less cash which is why you have to find a good location, right? So that's what I would encourage you to do. You know, there's a lot of good locations out there. You just gotta find them. There's a lot of people in the ATM business that are getting out of the business because they're older. They're 50, 60, 70, 80 years old. You know, see if you can uh, make a deal with them. Maybe you can take over their business. Maybe you can, you know, make a deal with them to do some sort of profit share because they wanna get out of the business and you wanna get into the business, right? You never know. So I would encourage you, stay optimistic. Stay positive, okay? We live in a crazy world right now. It's crazy times right now, but I promise you, the ATM business can be a great source of passive income if you allow it to be, okay? If you allow it to happen, it can be great. I appreciate you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure you comment down below, like the video if you haven't already. Also, go check out our podcast, okay? Uh, link in the description below where myself and my co-host interview cool people all around the world uh, talking about life, business, money, you know, the whole dang thing, okay? And uh, I would really appreciate it if you would just consider subscribing to that. And guys, let me know what you wanna see in the next video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.